Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we've got a full diagnosis of space weather. We'll see another piled on to the pre-earthquake signals list. And there's a paper that has revived something I hoped would die, and which we'll discuss on tonight's live show in more detail. But here's the last 24 hours on our star, and we find it was mostly a quiet day. No significant solar flares or eruptive events in Earth's direction. We're going to go over the sunspot situation, the coronal hole, and plasma filaments, about the only eruptive event we saw released on the west departing limb, 90 degrees away from the Earth. So sunspots, same groups, very little development, even less in terms of what's coming in to face the Earth. Once the development halted, it appears to have halted everywhere, with very little risk posed by these spots to Earth now that they have turned. Don't forget we do have space weather on its way. Minor, low-level 1 solar storms are forecast for tomorrow night and Wednesday due to the arrival of this slow-moving CME. Won't be anything major, and at that point, we will be squarely focused on the coronal hole and plasma filaments. The coronal hole stream is expected at Earth Thursday or Friday, and those thin dark plasma filaments straddling it are eruption threats of fairly high order. Eyes on them today. Well, first up in the articles, pre-earthquake electromagnetic signal study number six bajillion and two. Every time they have looked for hundreds of quakes over the last 20 years, they are finding these electromagnetic signals preceding the shake right over top of where it will start shaking. Top story today is this. Folks, looking at geomagnetic changes a couple million years ago, but What's important is their revival of a term I haven't seen in years and one that threw such a confusing wrench into pole shift science, the cryptochron. Folks, official geology lists magnetic reversals, magnetic excursions, and cryptochrons as three separate, equally terrible things our planet can do. The definitions officially used in the literature make classification challenging, and there is a fair bit of overlap. The excursions we identify over the last 100,000 years for Earth's disaster cycle all have qualities of both excursions and cryptochrons, including the one we're in right now. Someone wake up ethical skeptic and Craig Stone noble art. This is going to be a major topic on tonight's live show. And speaking of the magnetic change happening on Earth right now, GoldObservers.com is the sponsor for our documentary on Earth's disaster cycle, premiering in six weeks and out for free to the world before Christmas. They have allowed it to be free rather than in theaters or via a streaming service. And right now, they're doing price matching on gold and silver, which is basically giving it away. The collapse is around the corner, and whether it's for bartering or the ancient uses of radiation protection or antimicrobial safety, gold and silver can save life while we're on the way down and when we get there. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll be back this evening live from Observer Ranch. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.